I bring you greetings in Jesus' mighty name. About a year ago, I was standing in a long line under the sweltering sun in a graduation gown, and I had with me a bottle of water that I was sipping from to keep myself hydrated. And there was a guy in front of me who asked me if he could borrow my water, and out of compassion, I decided to share my water, and he drank it, and then he decided to be compassionate with my bottle of water, and he passed it on to the guy in front of him, who passed it on to the guy in front of him, and by the time I received my bottle, there was only so much of water left. Now, I didn't plan the unexpected depletion of H2O, but I was glad that many people stayed hydrated that day and that nobody fainted. We all know that water is vital for survival, and we're told that water makes up 60 to 75 percent of total body weight, and even uh, uh, a loss of 4% of total body water can lead to dehydration and if that number goes up to 15% it can be fatal so we know that people can live without food for more than a month but people cannot live without water for more than three days I love what the psalmist says in Psalms chapter 42 verses 1 and 2 let me read it for you today he says as a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? I love his beautiful description of his yearning, his deep, desperate longing to seek the living God, for communion with the living God. The Hebrew word for the word pants is the word tarag, and it is in the progressive imperfect, which means to say that it is a perpetual longing. He will keep on longing until his desire is met, until his need is fulfilled. And my question for all of us today is, do we have that longing for God? Do we seek him diligently because he is a rewarder of all those who seek him? Do we have those spiritual perpetual hunger pangs for God? We don't want to be spiritually starved. We don't want to be spiritually famished or malnourished nutrition. Let us continue to seek him diligently because he is the source of all spiritual life. He is the fountain of all spiritual life. God bless you abundantly. Have a wonderful day.